northern America. At the end of March, before beginning their journey, they mate. On that day, the spring equinox, when day and night are of equal duration, the colony begins its flight north. At the end of their journey, they reach Canada and die shortly afterwards. But before they die, they give birth to the first generation of the year, which will survive for about one and a half months. Later, the second and third generations are succeeded by the fourth, which will once again begin the migration. This generation will again live six months longer than the others, and thus the chain continues. This amazing migration brings many questions to mind. How is it that each fourth generation is born so as to live six months longer than the others? How does this long-lived generation always coincide with the winter months? How do the butterflies always begin their migration on that day when night and day are of equal length? And how are they able to make that delicate calculation? How does the new generation of monarchs that has never before gone on a migratory flight know the way? All of this demonstrates that monarchs have been created with a perfect migration plan and that they follow this plan to the letter. If there were an error in this plan, they would not be able to complete the migration. In that case, all the monarchs would have died in the winter and the monarch species would have become extinct. It is clear that these creatures have been created with this particular quality and that this extraordinary annual migration has been inspired in them. It is Allah, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the creator and ruler of all beings, who is the author of this wondrous creation. Human beings have experimented with many ways to fly. Since the first aeroplane was built about 100 years ago, thousands of different models of aeroplane have been developed. Countless numbers of scientists have tried to make better flight machines until finally they built today's flying machines with their wonderful designs. Flying is a great ability, but its usefulness depends on how well it is controlled. Actually, to be able to remain hovering in the air or to be able to land where you want are at least as important as flight. For this reason, human beings have developed an aircraft with a high degree of maneuverability. The helicopter. Helicopters can hover in mid-air and take off vertically. Especially because of their military advantages, nations have devoted unlimited budgets towards helicopter design. But recent research has come up with a very amazing fact. Modern helicopter flight technology is quite primitive compared to that of a very small, animate flying creature. This living flying creature is the dragonfly. 
The flying system of the Dragonfly is a wonder of design, surpassing in flight technology all the machines created by human beings. For this reason, the design of the latest model of the world-famous Sikorsky helicopter was produced using the design of the Dragonfly as a model. In this project, an IBM firm assisted in the design of the Sikorsky by loading images of a Dragonfly in a special computer. Afterwards, taking the example of the Dragonfly, thousands of illustrations were made on the computer. Then, with the example of the flight technology of the Dragonfly, the Sikorsky model was produced. In short, the body of a small insect contains a design superior to one planned by human beings. Light technology of the dragonfly and the design of its wings demonstrate a fact. This little creature shows us the wondrous design in the artistry of Allah. The dragonfly has two sets of wings placed diagonally on its body, allowing it to maneuver very quickly. Dragonflies can reach a speed of 50 kilometers an hour in a very short time, which is very surprising for an insect. An Olympic athlete in a 100 meter race runs only 39 kilometers an hour. There is one other condition of good flight. Flight is very dangerous if it is not supported by a very good visual system. For this reason, modern airplanes and helicopters have an advanced visual system. The Dragonfly 2 has a highly advanced visual system. It has a total of 30,000 micro eyes and every eye is directed towards a different point. All information from these eyes is transmitted to the dragonfly's brain, which processes it like a computer. Thanks to this system, the dragonfly has marvelous visual ability. As for the maneuverability of the dragonfly, it is more developed than that of a helicopter. For example, with a last-minute maneuver, it saves itself from a truck coming from the opposite direction. Now the dragonfly must contend with a double trap. It must avoid striking the windshields of the oncoming automobile, and it must escape the rapacious birds that hunt it and it succeeds in this with a very clever maneuver. One of the problems pilots face, who often have to maneuver, is that after a maneuver, it is difficult to determine the position of the craft relative to the ground. After the maneuver, if the pilot is confused about which side of the plane is up and which is down, the aircraft may crash. Technicians have developed an instrument to counter this risk, the gyroscope. This instrument shows the pilot a horizontal line indicating the horizon. The pilot compares the horizontal line with the actual horizon and is able to determine the plane's position in an instant. For millions of years, the dragonfly has been using a device similar to the one developed by technicians. Before the dragonfly's eyes, there is fixed an artificial horizontal line. No matter at what angle it flies, it always holds its head parallel to the horizontal line. When the dragonfly's body changes its position during flight, 
Hairs between its body